seen in Georgia every day. I've seen a blue sky in Kentucky. I've seen Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you know me. your hair down and let's stay on the couch put your head on my chest and don't make a sound we can turn off the phone forget about the world is there any one damn thing in it that compares to you girl I've seen a California sunset I've seen the hills in Tennessee I've seen the beaches down the border. I've seen the Georgia every day. I've seen the blue sky in Kentucky. I've seen Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you. Girl, I can't stand it. Let's move this upstairs. Let me take these two hands and run them through your hair. All these things I want to do are running through my head. Leave your dress in the hall. Here the sheets off the of bed. I've seen the California sunset. I've seen the hills on Tennessee. I've seen the beaches down in Florida. I've seen the Georgia every day. I've seen a blue sky in Kentucky. I've seen Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you know me anyway. I've seen a California sunset. I've seen the hills in Tennessee. I've seen beaches and cold. I've seen Georgia every day. I've seen a blue sky in Kentucky. I've seen Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you. Girl, none of those things are pretty as you. Stay on the couch Put your head on my chest And don't make a sound We can turn off the phone Forget about the world Is there any one damn thing in it That compares to you, girl I've seen a California sunset 
I seen the hills in Tennessee. I seen the beaches down in Florida. I seen the Georgia heaven green. I seen the blue sky in Kentucky. I seen the Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you. Stand it. Let's move this upstairs. Let me take these two hands and run them through your hair. All these things I want to do are running through my head. Leave your dress in the hall. Here the sheets off the bed. I seen the California sunset. I seen the hills of Tennessee. I seen the beaches down in Florida. I seen the Georgia heaven rain. I seen the blue sky in Kentucky. I seen the Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you know me. I've seen the hills in Tennessee I've seen the beaches down in Florida I've seen Georgia every day I've seen the blue sky in Kentucky I've seen Colorado Springs But none of those things are pretty as you Girl, none of those things are pretty as you know your hair down and let's stay on the couch and put your head on my chest and don't make a sound we can turn off the phone forget about the world is there any one damn thing in it that compares to you girl i've seen the california sunset i've seen the hills in tennessee I seen the beaches down in Florida. I seen the Georgia heaven green. I seen the blue sky in Kentucky. I seen the Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you. Girl, I can't stand it. Let's move this upstairs. Let me take these two hands and run them through your hair. All these things I want to do are running through my head. Leave your dress in the hall. Here the sheets off the bed. I've seen the California sunset. I've seen the hills in Tennessee. I've seen the beaches down in Florida. I've seen the Georgia heaven rain. I've seen the blue sky in Kentucky I've seen Colorado Springs But none of those things Are pretty as you know me anything I've seen the California sunset I've seen the hills in Tennessee I've seen the beaches down in Florida. I've seen Georgia heaven day. I've seen the blue sky in Kentucky. I've seen Colorado Springs. But none of those things are pretty as you. Girl, none.
What is up, everybody? Welcome to for Joe. Yeah, welcome to Frizzell Guitars. My name is Brandon Edwards here, and I am the owner and professional luthier here at Frizzell Guitars. I am the connoisseur of all things strings, all things musical equipment, guitars, amps, anything like that. Now let me introduce my co-host. He is one of my greatest friends I know, one of the coolest people I know, and besides being one of the greatest real estate agents to ever step foot in Kentucky and one of the greatest harmonica players, let me introduce you my friend, Jonathan McCorder. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, first things first is make sure you grab a pen, grab a paper, sit back in class, and we are taking you to Microphones 101 today with your your connoisseurs, Jonathan McCorder and Brandon. But today, most of you have you seen on Facebook earlier, it's a very special day, so... I just want to make a little statement here. I want to say today we celebrate one year of business. On Friday, we have a one-year anniversary bash with Brad Harden, provide the music with a food truck and free giveaways and all that. I just want to say thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart for you supporting my small business over this past year and making a dream a reality because I couldn't have done it without you guys. I just want to say I love each and every one of my customers, and I thank everybody for the continued support, love, and all the stuff that they do for me, and that you have welcomed me back home. And I just want to say thank you for the incredible people I've met. And I want to say one more thing here uh, that I want to bring up and mention. So everybody, you see Jonathan over here uh, on the screen next to me. Let me tell you something about Jonathan. I just want to say a little something. You know, I met Jonathan. I, I sort of knew him beforehand, but not not much. But I met Jonathan this year, and there's there's something you know where you meet a person. And sometimes you're just destined to meet a guy. And I'm so incredibly glad I met this guy because not only is this guy a great friend, he's a great husband, he's a great person, he's a great son. I mean, he's he's somebody that everybody wants to look up to. He's a cool dude, and I know a lot of people look up to him. And he's a, he's a great fella. And I appreciate everything he does for the Fred job, taking his time to do this show with me and working really hard. And... He is an incredible fella. He knows how to sing. He can play. I mean, he is just an all right stand up guy. So tonight when you're sitting at the bar, raise up a beer for him because he deserves it. This is supposed to be copyright free version, so we'll see. Uh. <laughs> I just want to see his face. Y'all get to see me dance. We're going to have a little celebration here this morning. <laughs> I, I made an embarrassment of myself a long time ago. Yeah, he's not cool. He don't get to dance. All right, that was uh that's pretty cool. That was that was my moment. That was my uh that was my Titanic moment, top of the world. <laughs> yeah. I started right in the middle of a pandemic, guys. I moved back here and I started right in the middle of a pandemic. That is scary. Let me tell you, it is very scary. And but I have 
I have worked hard and tried to make things. And I'm not going to say it's been easy. Sometimes it's been a struggle. It is 100% sometimes been a struggle. But I'll tell you what, I powered through it and I busted my butt. And, you know, sometimes it got discouraging sometimes. But then always remembered that just keep pushing, keep working hard. Keep, you're going to get there. Things are going great. There's a lot of incredible people around here. Thanks to all the people at Danville that have supported me. I want to say shout out to a few people. I know some of you guys that are watching from different parts of the country or wherever. You don't know these people, so you can skip ahead if you want. But I want to give a shout out to uh, to to the karaoke DJ Pam on Monday nights. Abrams, she is Kim, Abram Kendall. She gives shout out to the business about all the stuff. And uh, she's always there supporting the business, giving shout outs, uh, you know, Brent on Wednesday nights and all the people that love and support and shout out the business and that, you know, care. And I want to give a shout out to 10, uh, 101.9 or 2.9 uh, Hometown Live. I want to get a shout out to Radio Rick and all the, all the people over there that had me on the radio this past week. You guys are incredible people. And every last one of you guys. Uh... He said he's not getting Jonathan's audio. He should be. Uh, speak, Jonathan. Um, now you should be getting Jonathan's audio. Okay. Let me see if I'm getting it. You got Are you it getting now? It? Oh, he's got it. Okay. So, uh, well, everything Jonathan said, you guys probably didn't hear. I didn't change anything. Well, the deal, the deal with it is, is uh which we'll probably s skip all this stuff for the YouTube video. The problem is that sometimes the software, without letting you know it, they just change the audio devices, and they don't give you any kind of warning, and we probably should check it. But sometimes I've it got comes back the next week, and then, yeah, he's it's fixed now. Sometimes all right, it anyway. the audio device, so <coughs> you guys probably didn't hear anything Jonathan said back there, but that's okay. He was here in spirit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, you say a music store, and I'm gonna ramble on for a second. I don't care that we're supposed to have audio. Sometimes the technology just has has its struts, has its trouble, and we try to work through it all. And we're trying to make the best podcast and the best experience possible for you guys. But sometimes the thing changes and stuff like that, and uh, it's one of those things where we didn't really notice it until somebody brought it to our attention. Yes, we should check it, but some weeks it stays the same, and some weeks it just c goes through, takes all our outputs and inputs, and changes them huh. where we can't hear it. And it's just technology. You're working with technology and whatnot, but... Anyway, let's get into this topic. Yeah. So We got Microphones 101, so... Uh, grab a pencil, grab a paper, sit down, class is in session. I've got yeah, I've got a few different kinds of microphones here, uh, but man, there's different microphones. There's different purposes for different microphones. Do you want me to give a little history of the microphone? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so I'll give I'll give a little history of the microphone here. So the first microphone was invented as a telephone transmitter by Alexander Graham Bell. In 19 or in 1876 that was when the first uh, it was a liquid device that was not very practical in 1886 Thomas Alva Edison invented the first particle carbon microphone the carbon microphone was used for radio transmissions and extensively in telephone transmitters until the 1970s uh, Wow when they were when they were replaced by the piezoelectric ceramic elements the carbon microphone had limited frequency range and it would not reproduce music effectively. In 1960, the condenser microphone was developed by E.C. Went of Bell Laboratories. The condenser microphone required an amplifier built within the microphone to pick up the faint signals. Condenser microphones were used for radio broadcasting and the first generation of sound motion pictures. A major breakthrough in microphone technologies would come in 1931 with the invention of the moving coil or dynamic microphone by Wente and AEC, Thoris of Bell Laboratories. The dynamic microphone has a lower noise or distortion level than the carbon microphone and requires no power to operate. 
a dynamic microphone is in is in extensive use today in all areas of communication entertainment in 1931 the ribbon microphone was introduced by rca and became one of the most widely used microphones for the vocal recording and broadcasting industries it was considered by many as the most natural sounding microphone ever made the ribbon microphone was very heavy about eight pounds and could easily be damaged by shock or blowing into it the variations of the ribbon microphone are still used today the ceramic crystal microphone was invented by 1933 by a static corporation when C CM uh, Torpening and F uh, FH Woodworth found that they could make a microphone out of Rochelle salts and piezoelectric crystal crystals. They found that when the sound wave struck these crystals, they vibrated and created an electrical current. Depending on the type of microphone, raw materials may vary. Permanent magnets are generally used from neodymium iron-bound compound and uh, uh, compound and stuff. So, I mean, the dynamic has a moving coil, thin plastic <coughs> diagram, and it's attached. I won't go into all this, but, uh, I mean, it's got... Anyway. It's, this is, you know... It just this is a dynamic out. microphone. And, and dynamic. what Brandon's using is a dynamic microphone. The microphone I'm speaking into is also a dynamic microphone. Uh, they're used primarily, as, I mean... What you see the most is is as stage mics, vocal mics on a stage are usually, most of the time, are dynamic microphones. This is a Shure SM58. This is probably the most common microphone used professionally on stage for vocal stage mics, and they have wireless versions of it. Um, another dynamic microphone I've got here is... Uh, and Brandon owns one of these also, a lot of people do, is this is an SM57 made by the same company, sure. sure uh, makes incredible microphones, by the way, they, guys. They make some of the best mics. Uh, this right here is an instrument microphone. You can use this to mic up your guitar cabinet. You can mic up your guitar. I've played harmonica through these. Um, I've used this one as a vocal mic. Um, it takes a little more gain to, to get a good vocal tone like in a situation where you're using like an interface like we are right now it takes a little more gain for the dynamic mics um yeah speaking sure. of harmonica microphones this is a also a dynamic microphone that's made just to play harmonicas through uh it's got a little volume knob on it um all right so when you think of microphones dynamics what is what is, what is three microphones that stand out in your head over the years that you just remember seeing and you always you always never forget those microphones well I now I'm in U87 you know that's kind of like the one of the staple condenser mics for uh recording vocals and okay. then uh so the SM57 and the 58 here's something I always and I don't know what mic it was but I always remember as a kid at the uh, I used to have a babysitter place as a kid, and you, she used to love to watch The Price is Right. He always had oh, a yeah. microphone, and it had that long one, and it was like, yeah. that always, I always remember that over the years, is that was like a staple microphone that stuck out of my head. I think that was a condenser microphone. Was it? It was small, but it was cool looking. Yeah, I believe, I believe, you're talking about Bob Barker's microphone? Yeah, yeah I believe that was a condenser microphone, but absolutely years. that one sticks out in my memory as a kid, yes. Uh, no, but he still uses a funny looking microphone, The uh, Drew Carey does. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that was pretty staple. That was a pretty staple microphone that stuck Yeah, I'm sure head. everybody... That, that, that's watching it remembers the Bob Barker mic. I mean, yes, that was like the Bob Barker mic. Yeah, Bob Barker was an iconic man. And then another mic that stands out to me is like the old school silver, like the bullet looking mic. You know, like you see pictures of Elvis singing into yes. it. Oh yeah, yeah, one of those old. Right, yeah. Oh, those are now they've got them with lights in them that light up and. They're cool, man. I have a when I lived in Nashville, my buddy Will, his roommate made those mics. Made those mics. Yeah, there's there's some cool custom. I saw uh, Jason Mraz and um, a group of girls that he sings with. I wish I could remember the name of their group, but anyway, uh, they all sing together this uh, that song. I won't give up. 
they they all sing together into one microphone and it's a custom made mic and it's made out of stuff out of the kitchen man like a strain or like a little screen thing it's made out of household items but anyway it sounds incredible man okay so here crap here's something else i'm going to mention to you so not only uh um uh, well, I don't. I don't forget what I was gonna say. Something else popped in my head. <laughs> it's one of those moments where something else popped in your head, and I realized something. So, yeah. Well, microphones. Another another good use for microphones, man, is condenser mics that are in guitars. I I like those. I mean, I've my Martin's got one in it, and I use it almost exclusively. And I never use the uh, thin line under saddle pickup because I get a natural sound out of, it, and it does not feed back. Um, so mics, man, it's, it's an essential thing. It's an essential part of music. All right. So we're going to talk about some of the best mics they are out there on the field and, um, what other people think. So the best solo microphone people say out there is the son, the best microphone is a Sontronic solo microphone, best recording mic if you need a sure SM58 alternative. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the 58, man, that's it's it's on a lot of stages. The second one is an IK Multimedia iRig Mic Studio. Best microphone for streamers and podcasters. Yeah. Cardioid pattern micro USB. <laughs> the best microphone for recording people say is a Rode NT1 microphone. Yeah, I've got a friend that has that NT1. That's a that's in a lot of studios. All right. You hear my dog barking? Yes. <laughs> the best mid-price alternative to the Shure SM57 is the Audio Technica AE2300. Yeah, that's that's funny that that they keep coming up with alternatives to these number, 57s number five, and 58s. Number 5 is a Shure MV7, which I think that's what you're using, right? That's what I'm talking on right now. Yeah, so uh, number six is an Aston microphone, Origin. Yeah, I, I actually went and looked at one of those one time. Just I, I thought about getting one for doing this kind of stuff. Number uh, Best one for recording guitar amps, number seven, is an AKG C, C214. Yeah. And the best microphone, multi-pattern mid-range mic, is an SE Electronics SC220 uh, 100A2 microphone. That I'm using an SE Electronic mic here. And then the best handheld condenser and best studio microphone for master reference is an AKG C636. This is on our list. This is just a list someone yeah. made. And we're just going through and showing what other people have voted on. The best microphone recording vocals. And mid-range budget is a Newman TLM-102 microphone. This right here is what I would use to record my vocals with. Uh, and it's a lot similar to that one you just named off. That, uh, what was it, TLM-102? Yeah. This is a little little more economy than the TLM-102. I gave, I think, uh, either three or 400. I think it was 300 for this microphone. But it's a blue Bluebird SL. It is a studio condenser microphone. So, like, uh, whenever I play music on here and sing and play, this is what I use for the podcast. Uh, when I'm just going to be talking like I am right now, I use the Shure MV7, and that's just because uh, they're they're strong. They have different strengths and weaknesses for different purposes. Yeah, for sure. Like I agree there with the different strengths and weaknesses. I mean, it's different applications. What are you using the mic for? Yeah. What do you need the mic for? What are you using the mic for? Yeah. What if you're trying to capture, like, vocal, if you're trying to capture even in a live stream setting or even in, in really in any setting, if you're trying to capture vocals and guitar with one microphone, a studio condenser microphone is the way to do it because it'll pick up both. Yeah, for sure. So uh, if you can do two mics, you're better off with dynamic mics. Um, it is uh, it is coming along. Um, like yeah, definitely for sure. So um, that's a good thing. So uh, those of you that are watching today, I want to give you all a reminder across America to go out and vote. 
Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Little, little, little stop there. Reminder. Primary day. Yeah, today's primary day. Here's yeah. a little Here's a little thing. Uh, Just participate. Yep, for sure. So that's um, going to be a cool thing. So uh, we touched on the... We touched on the dynamic mics and touched a little bit on the condenser mics. The ribbon microphones, that's something I've got. Do you have any experience with ribbon microphones? I have a little experience with ribbon microphones. I know a lot of people use them for vocals. Uh, I've, I don't have any experience with them, really. Um, I'll tell you one thing. that, like uh, This microphone here... It's a USB microphone. Uh, it is also an XLR microphone. That's another thing that distinguishes different mics is different types of connections. Uh, most yeah, of the sure. time, your most common thing is usually going to be the uh, XLR. Uh, yeah, for sure. XLR. Uh, I'll show you this XLR here. So most commonly, you're going to see this type of connection with a microphone. Uh but like my harmonica microphone, it uses the old school quarter inch connection. Uh, but this microphone I'm talking on is actually right now I'm being I'm using it as a USB. So you can see on the back of it here, it's kind of hard to see. Right in here, there's an XLR connection, which this is for your headphones, and then up here is a USB connection. And the reason I use this mic like that is because. They have a cool little piece of software that come with the mic, and it gives me the ability to control a lot of the features of the mic. Uh, and I I can't do that as easily using it XLR with an interface because yeah. it's just made easier with the software. Yeah, for sure. I mean, sometimes it's like that. So, man, it's move. Technology's moving quick on it. Yeah, technology is moving great. Microphones. I mean, you. I'm gonna jump course a little bit. We're gonna talk about some famous microphones here. Yeah, cool. So, we're going to talk about a very famous microphone, which, of course, we mentioned the Sure SM58, used by a lot. Cheryl Crow is a big user of that. A lot of people. Yep. We got an SM7B. Michael Jackson recorded a thriller on one of those. That's the mic that I thought. When I first got into this uh, video podcasting, <clears throat> I thought, that's what I've got to get is an SM7B. And I thought that that was my goal. And I, and I thought this mic would be a stepping stone. But for podcasting, I'm happy with this MV7. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't think I'll move on and spend any more money to get the SM7B. So another one is the AKG C24. That is yeah. Beyonce used that a lot. She was her choice of mic. And then you've got the Newman U67. Kurt Cobain used it on a lot of applications. They make great microphones. And you got the AKG C414B. Four, uh, uh, it's been used by in the early 70s by a lot of, it was a lot of stuff. And then you, you know, you got a lot of cool stuff here in in the wheelhouse. Yeah, I mean, when you you flip through a magazine, uh, a music supply book or anything like that, uh, man, there's just tons of selection out there in microphones. I mean, and there's all kinds of different little subcategories of microphones like headsets. Uh, there's a lot of really sleek looking little headsets that you can't hardly even see when somebody's wearing it. Uh, then they've got all kinds of lavalier mics and stuff like that. Let's talk about broadcast microphones. Like, let's see, here's a microphone that you commonly, that stands out to me as well, broadcast, John Madden. He had a little microphone headset over, you know. Yeah. That was, um, and that's what this mic is, is a broadcast microphone. Yeah, I mean, uh, those little ones that come over, that's like something I always remember growing up that stood out to me. Yeah. Yeah, I know I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, that SM7B is probably the most popular broadcast microphone right now, used in podcasting and streaming and and then vocal recording. Uh, there's also um, Rode makes one called the Pod Mic. Okay, tell me about that. Uh, man, they're just like a little, little short little. I think it's a dynamic. You know, it's a dynamic broadcast microphone. A lot of podcasters use the Pod Mic. Um, 
a lot of people that uh, buy that Rodecaster Pro, they'll use those pod mics with it. Uh, Electro Voice makes uh, some broadcast microphones. Uh, there's a ton of selection out there, even in that category. Yeah, but sure. yeah, it's a crucial part of every, you know, podcasting, music, television, everything. I mean, I mean, yeah, there's uh, some very, you know, you get a lot of a uh, lot of cool things. Now they make microphones so tiny, it's not even funny. Yeah, yeah, like the the ones in your phones, and I mean, it's crazy how good the microphones in in your uh, smartphone have gotten you know there's a lot of people that youtube and uh and post a lot of music and stuff and they're just using their phone mic i mean when we first started this podcast uh the first episode or two i used my phone i mean that's how i did it i don't anymore but we have definitely come a long way as far as audio and oh my goodness phone. and the funny thing is though you can't really hardly even tell that I was using my phone if you go back and watch that first episode. I mean, this makes it a lot easier because like right now I'm on a laptop with, with a webcam and I've got this microphone and all that, but, uh, you know, you can do it. You can do it with the bare minimum, man, if you really want to. Yeah, for sure. So, um, there's a lot of, a lot of microphones. A lot of things are cool and whatnot. This microphone sounds great. Yeah. Hey, without uh, without giving her name away or anything, because I, I, know, I know you're not going to give that person's name out, uh, I just wanted to, to say I come by Frizzell Guitar yesterday, and, and uh, I'm not going to say her, her name or anything, but he had a – Brandon had a student in there that he's been working with for a couple months, guys, and – I was blown away. This girl, I know, I know you've helped her a bunch, but she had some serious uh, innate talent in her that that she was born with. But there was a girl in there playing music with him. Uh, uh, it, it was a, like I said, a student of his, and I was amazed, guys. And, so there is some yeah. talent coming up. There's some and, talent coming up around here that's going to blow your mind. And Friday, this person makes their debut as a new artist. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. I mean, it's a, it's a female artist, and she's a, I would call her, she's probably going to end up being a singer-songwriter, country artist. I mean, wow. You she wanna, had some, You want to catch her before she blows up. Killer vocals. Uh, could not believe she'd only been playing guitar for a couple months. I mean, yeah, she's got a ways to go on guitar, but she's so far ahead of where she should be. Me and her going to be doing a song together cool and you heard that one yesterday how do you think yeah you did? did good man she 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 can sing better than you but but uh you did great man yeah well, that's that girl one. that girl's that girl makes is gonna be really good dude yeah for sure i'm singing backup vocals for her and playing oh y'all sounded great together man you all sounded great together. I mean, for sure. I'm excited. I'm excited. So. You sounded good enough together. I came back. Yes, with his wife. I came back to let my wife hear hear them sing that song together. But no, you, you're doing great, man. I'm so, I'm impressed. So yesterday she told me she was nervous. And, uh, oh, of course. And I was a little bit nervous. So I said, okay, grab your guitar, grab the stand. We're going outside. He takes, he takes this young person out on the front porch and, and starts playing toward the traffic and what a way to get somebody to overcome their nerves let me tell she you, did great though man I, i'm yeah, telling you let me tell you it's all about unconventional methods of when you teach people okay everybody said you got this book and some of you guys may may in here may throw your two cents worth in i don't care I think that a lot of people find success is when they use unconventional methods to teach people I've sure. heard Rick Beato tell people that. I've heard. I've seen people. I've seen professional people and their methods of teaching people, and it's incredible what they do. They do a lot of stuff you wouldn't believe, and it's unconventional ways that help people and they get people. Yeah, man. Whatever you whatever you're doing with her, it worked great. <clears throat> like I said, she had some talent that she was born with too, because not everybody can pick it up that quick, man. Two months okay. and this. I'll tell you a little story behind this. 
My very first lesson, her mother said, I want to take get my daughter some lessons. I said, How old is this person? 16. 16? She said, okay. I want to get my daughter some lessons. I said, okay. She brought her daughter for the first lesson, and as we sat down on the first lesson, as we sat down on the first lesson, I gave her a chord chart. I said, here you go. I said, these are all your chords, parts of the guitar. She named off the parts like it was that. Then I said, here's some chords. Well, I gave her chords, and I'm like, it's this chord, this chord, this chord, this chord. Before I could even show her what the, how to play one chord, she was playing them all. She was looking at, okay, my fingers go here. Okay, my fingers go here. Yeah. Never touched the guitar before, people. And she's like, my fingers go here, here, here. Yeah. And then I gave her a song. I'm like, just as a, just as, just to see a test. I said, here's a song. I gave her kind of a mid, medium, medium range as far as hard song. And I said, here. And I said, figure out the strumming pattern, all that stuff, and come back. I didn't. I just wanted to see what she could do. She came back the next lesson. She played and sang that song all the way through. Yeah. That that, that blew my mind away. Man, it took me. <clears throat> I mean. I told her mom. It took me a long time before I could even think about singing while playing guitar. I told her mom, I said, this girl here is born with some pretty dang good talent. I yeah. said, she's going to be, she's born a performer. I said, you know, there's there's people around that, oh, my daughter's so good, this, this, that, oh, this, that. They, no offense, they they yeah. pu they pu push their kid up higher than their kid really has a talent. Yeah. Because it's their kid, you know. But this girl here is so humble, and she's got more talent than any other person her age singing. I've heard. Yeah, I think she'll. Uh, I think she'll be a really good little artist, man. Yeah, I mean, so she had to throw a shout out to that because that I, I was impressed with with what you've done with with that student. And you know, her mother's amazed. I come back and I give her these songs, like the one we're doing now, and I said, "These fit your voice. This fits this." And I mean, we've been working and. Uh, this is really to show what I can can accomplish as a teacher, and uh, I'm going to start managing her a little bit and going from there and really, really helping her find who she is. We're going to work with somebody on songwriting. We're really going to try to turn her into a really, to a really good artist. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Positively lutely. But yeah, man, I, I always like to see any young person get out there and and uh try to learn how to get into the get into the arts, man. Just get into anything. It, whatever it is that they want to do, I like to see them take off and and take a shot at it, man. And I like to see them get a shot at it, so. Yeah. I mean, it's uh it's pretty incredible. And Friday, you're going to hear more about her and how you can hear more about her. Yeah. Look for that. Another shout out real quick because I know we got off topic. Friday we're having a one year anniversary bash up here. Live music is provided by Brad Harden. And not only is live music provided by Brad Harden, but it's also it's also provided a lot of different things. But um, having bluegrass food trucks, Brad Harden playing, we're giving away a lot of good and free stuff. And uh Awesome. Ho hopefully Jonathan will be here and if you want you get a picture of me and Jonathan on the Fred Drive. I'm going to try to be there. I'll do everything I can. Usually I make it. He'll make it, you know. It's a good family-friendly event. It's one, you know, get the wife out of the house, sit down and enjoy an evening. Yeah. Just sit down, get some, some food, sit down and relax, and enjoy an evening out of the house. And uh, it's going to be extremely fun. We're going to celebrate. It's a good one where you can just sit around for a while, talk and enjoy, and have a good evening. Yeah. Yeah. And man, Brad's good. You know, it's it's going to be a good, good show. I'll tell you, any time I've heard Brad a thousand times, and every time I hear him, it still feels like the first. Yeah. That kid's going places, and I mean, I mean, he's just an incredible vocalist. Yep. So Richard Poole says, "I love when I can inspire someone to find the love. Of, I love when I can inspire someone to find the love of making music." Yeah, man. I mean, I agree. I 100% agree, Richard, with that. Definitely thing. helped me do it, man. <clears throat> you know, I grew up, I grew up, you know, with that inspiration and uh, of music here. And uh, 
Did you have family members that were playing that no, were musicians? I had a few, but I didn't know them. I mean, Mike Archer, yeah. he played, but that was the only one I really grew up knowing. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really. I mean, I do because my grandparents they were in. They had a gospel quartet uh, on my dad's side. Uh, on my mom's side, I think I had a great grandparent that played. Uh, maybe a great great grandparent that played harmonica. So here, here was the moment for me that really that really made me into who I am today is I was sitting there, I'll never forget this, one year for Christmas I'd heard some of their songs, Rascal Flatts, man, got me the CD, I tell this story a thousand times, and I was sitting in there. <laughs> I think you've told it on here. <laughs> I may have, but I'll tell it again. I was sitting in there, and I think it was, I, I want to say that it was Here Comes Goodbye, it was on TV at the babysitter's house, and it was, it was Here Comes Goodbye was the, wh- was the song, and I was watching Here Comes Goodbye. And uh, and they played that. And Joe Don Rooney, the lead singer, I think it was Good Morning America, come out with the Les Paul, and he did a solo on it. And it was probably one of the sweetest solos I'd ever done or seen. And yeah. I just thought, never knew much about guitars. And I'm like, someday I want to play guitar like that. I mean, he yeah. was, it was an inspiration. And then I'll never forget about probably a couple months later, I seen Guns N' Roses on TV, and I seen Slash. And they were doing Sweet Child of Mine. And I'm like, yeah. I want a Les Paul. I want that guitar. And I want I want to play. And several failed attempts led to a good attempt. Yeah, yeah. I, man, I, I never was. I never did sit around and look at some famous person and, and get inspired that much by them. I mean, I don't know why, but I, I ended up. It wasn't until I saw somebody I knew doing it that was good at it when i saw somebody that i personally knew that could do it and was good at it that's when i got interested i don't know why but that's just how it, how it got to me but but yeah man good episode uh yeah so my, i mean we get microphones you know we got off um kind of got off subject but you can you know a couple guitar players ukulele player harmonica player you can only talk about microphones so much you yeah. know what i mean, I mean <laughs> you can only, and that's okay we're not only are we on a big scale but we're on a local scale too and we want to yeah. talk about things this is our podcast we'll talk about what we want to talk about go through and we try to make yeah. it an episode to interact so just throw some different stuff out there but you know uh yeah i mean you, if if your topic like microphones, like I said, we can only we we can only go so far with microphones, but we can always uh, throw some other stuff in there. Yeah, for sure. And we're just making it a calm, cool, and quaint episode. And uh, well, we hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna cut this episode a little bit short today, but uh, you guys have a great week. Have a good week. <laughs>